Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Mike and today we have an awesome set for a review. This is Batman the Scuttler. We have built this set on a live stream, so check out the link below for this live stream build video and let's go on with the review. This set is recommended for ages 9 to 14. This is set number 70908 and it has 775 pieces. Inside the big box we have six awesome minifigs with some accessories and of course the build for this awesome Batman vehicle. I'm pretty sure that most of these minifigs are exclusive to this set, but hey, this is a, such a ridiculously cool vehicle that I would get the set anyways. Let me just start by saying that the vehicle looks awesome. It is as ridiculous as a Batman vehicle is supposed to be. The entire shape of vehicle is obviously a bat, well Jack said it's a sloth, but I would say if you look close it's definitely a bat. Those legs when spread out look very intimidating, I guess that's the purpose of the vehicle to just scare all the villains in front of it. As you can see here Joker is not having an easy time fighting the scuttler. But let's get back to those awesome looking legs, you can see that every single leg can have its angle changed, the two big legs in the front can be expanded or retracted, and the mechanism is designed so that there is just enough friction to not make the legs collapse on their own. The back legs can also have their angle changed and you can move these ankles or feet so that he can stand on his back toes or just lay flat. I'm just really wondering, as I mentioned in the stream a few days ago, how will the vehicle actually move in the movie? Looking forward to seeing that. Definitely you can position the vehicle in many different ways and I have to say that no matter how you set it up, it looks amazing. Now taking a closer look at the front of the vehicle, you can see a lot of cool detailing here. We have those hydraulic hoses that go really well together with those massive legs, probably a system to move them. We also have a lot of light points so that the scuttler can illuminate anything in front of him. And also you can see a bunch of cool stickers along the vehicle. I think that they just complete the overall look very well. All these exhaust warnings, all these straps make it look like a piece of great engineering. The head in the front is obviously the cockpit. You can see that it has a pretty cool function. You can open it up and if you put the Batman minifig inside, the front piece of the cockpit retracts so it holds the minifigs in place. We also have some stickers on two pieces on the sides, a lever and those game pieces as warning lights. The entire head can move up and down and also rotate to the sides. Also the ears on the top of the head completed the bat look. And right above the head there is one of the main play features and that is the net launcher. Well, it shoots net obviously. You can rotate it and change the angle on one axis. But what I am missing here is that you cannot change the angle forward so that if the vehicle is really high up, you won't be able to target any villain right in front of it. Still a pretty neat feature, I like it a lot, but moving on to the back, we have a huge compartment with a massive canopy with a sticker that says caution hot contents and that is the compartment that holds the engine of the vehicle, that is obviously a jet engine, and a space for the Batman's jetpack. So that is why it probably says it's hot inside. And speaking of the jet engine, we have the nozzle right here. And of course, as it was with the bad boat from the Bat Cave Breaking set, I think it looks so much better with one flame spitting out of the back. Because you know, every bad vehicle should have a flame spitting from his engine. Now, let's take one more look at the grandeur of the vehicle. At this point, I will just admit that this is my favorite Batman movie set released to date. At $80, the price is not very welcoming. 
but just following the fact how awesome this thing looks, I would just get it as a display model. But what a bad set would be without the minifigs. And right here we have all six of them, starting off with the Batman. He is pretty much the same Batman that was released in all the other Batman movie sets. He has his utility belt, his batarangs, a cape and two expressions on his face. You can notice that his bat eyes, that means the eyes that are visible when he's in the mask, differ between expressions. And as if there were not enough gadgets for him, he comes with this fancy jetpack. A very nice fake, but moving on to Dick Grayson, commonly known as the Robin. He has those ridiculous glasses or goggles that are his iconic point, nicely combed hair, a bow tie, and his jacket is quite sparkling. I mean, he has all those silver dots along his back and in the front. Pretty cool looking print if you ask me. Next up is Commissioner Gordon. He has a very elegant police outfit with all his medals visible. There is also a special sash going over his torso, so that would mean this set is set up at some kind of a celebration that is being broken by the villains. He also comes with two face expressions, a grey mold for the hair and a very vintage looking revolver. Very cool looking minifig that just proves that LEGO is continuing to go out of their way with those detailed minifig prints. And next in line is Barbara Gordon. And I have to say that she looks pretty cool. She has a tactical police outfit that might be a SWAT outfit. You can see her tactical vest that has prints in the front and in the back. It says GCPD which stands for Gotham City Police Department. There is a mold for some pouches. Overall a really cool look. Her arms are printed in two colors, so that you can say she has a t-shirt and black gloves. She also comes with two face expressions and a really good mold for the hair. You can also see that she has a golden hairband, so this mold is actually in two colors. And moving on to our super villains, first up we have the Joker. What is unique about him is that he comes with a tailcoat. That is a pretty new clothing piece and looks very good. The only problem is that his tailcoat sometimes prevents him from standing straight and not falling over. He also comes with two face expressions, both look very cartoony. The first one is this smirk with his um, tooth standing out. And the second one is a full white grin, which looks kind of creepy. The mold for the hair was visible in the other sets as well. And he comes with this bullhorn pistol with a bang flag. I am really wondering how is he supposed to fight this cutler with that thing. Anyway, the last minifig in line is my favorite, the Poison Ivy. She has an amazing print for her torso and legs. That must be a party outfit and it is very detailed. And she comes with one amazing hairpiece. It is a beautiful mold with a flower on the side and some leaves in the back. So that makes it a three color mold and it just looks great on her. She also comes with a short skirt that looks as if it was made from leaves. Also, she has those two plant tentacles and two face expressions. And one more crucial piece of accessory for her is this spooky, creepy looking living plant or roots monster that she apparently can float on and even command it to catch the good guys. Definitely my favorite minifig in this set, if not the most favorite of the Batman movie sets. So those are all the minifigs. Let's take one more look of the entire set, very very good looking vehicle, a bunch of awesome minifigs, a lot of play features, Lego did very well with this one. And that is gonna be a wrap for this episode, thank you guys so much for watching, remember if you like this set you can find the link to buy it in the video description below and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons because it supports us very much. And as always we really appreciate you guys watching our videos, we love making this content for you. My name is Mike and I hope to see you guys again on Brick Vault.